moderator today uh, for this event. Uh, backup moderator can be Dark or Foxy. And everyone, welcome to UAF session 352. Uh, previous week failed to destroy Hergata airbase. Even if our seed flights managed to inflict heavy damage to the enemy SAM systems, our package just slightly damaged both runways. The Egyptians, having an engineer battalion in the immediate vicinity, repaired them in less than one hour. Therefore, we're going to restrike Hergata Air Base today uh, using the breach we made through the enemy uh, enemy air defense. Avenger 1, which is led by Foxy, will open the way and act as a deep flight to knock out the SA-9s that are on the airbase. Cobra 1, that's led by Fumes, you're going to sweep the area and look for scramblers thick enough from Hergata uh, prior to the arrival of all the strike flights. First flight will be the Viper 1, led by Dark Fiber, the Oka. Uh, you're going to hit the runways, followed shortly by Weasel 1. Uh, your task in Weasel 1 is to destroy all the engineers or anything else you see on the airbase that could repair it. Uh, new, uh, new flight, Intruder 5, we have two ship of Intruder uh, A4, uh, A4 Skyhawks. Uh, we're just going to mop up whatever you miss across. He meant so revenge. We'll, Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, we'll come in after you. And I, I gotta set the timers, the times that we'll take off last. Alright, so everyone's clear on what they're going to do. We have all the flight leads set. Everyone's in a seat. Is anyone not in a seat? Good. Uh, okay. So I have a question. So, so who's actually working the AAA battalion on the, on the target? That's sort of a could be a deep. The, task. Foxy is going to be hitting uh, hitting the SA nines, which whatever he way he wants to do it. Um, beyond the SA nines, anyone's game. You can do it if you want. Uh, I'll there's just do it. there's so many it. targets there. Dude. Well, there's there's, there's, there's uh, like, yeah, just hundreds time. of ground units. Yeah, but there's Toad AAA, so that that should be prioritized on the target. You want to do it? I'm just, yeah, I can those? do it. I just we need to decide who does it. I'm happy to do it. Okay, go for it. Yeah, we have so many. We have so many aircraft going to be hitting everything uh, on on this place. So, you prioritize the tubes, and I'll prioritize uh, like trucks with intruder. Okay, so I'm gonna trucks and crates. I'm gonna kill the AAA guns, and then whatever I have left, we're gonna attack the engineers. How does that sound? That sounds good. Okay. Okay. Yep. Sorry, go ahead. I was just gonna let Foxy know. Just a heads up: SA nines are located on the north side and the south side. Um, on the north, on the on the west side of the strip. Got it. Yep, Roger. Since we have a lot of a lot of flights here and a lot of tasking, I want to make this package brief really quick. I'll take over package lead. Succession of command will be myself, then Kraus, then Foxy, then Dark. Uh, that leaves Fumes. You just stick stick to what you're doing, Fumes, and report uh, any enemy air contacts or any scramblers. And Dark, that leaves you uh, out of command, so you can focus on the runways and get out. Because you're also going to be in a way we may not be able to uh, talk with you if you're doing that path. All right, so su success from the command is down. It's myself, Kraus, and Foxy. Uh, we're package, uh, I don't know if I said this already, uh, 23220, package Oka. Flight order follows Viper 1, Oka, Weasel 1, AI, Cobra 1, Sweep, Avenger 1, Deed, Intruder 5, AI. Situation is just the afternoon, weather's partly cloudy. Winds at 14 knots. Be careful on that. We have a con layer at 20,000. Probably cloudy. And we have uh, Stratus at 35,000. So it's no problem. You're gonna, yeah, so you're gonna be conning at 20,000. 20, so I'll try to stay below that. All flights. Uh, method of attack is completely up to you. Uh, as long as we have the uh, sweep getting there first, followed by the deed, taking out the SN9s. Followed by Oka, and then the two AIs will hit last. Uh, communications and tack in are all uh, default. Nothing changes there. Flight lead discretion on those. Supporting aircraft, we have GCI that's going to be too far away to assist. So we're going to be uh, alone as far as uh, air, air to air picture support. Uh, besides, uh, nothing else on the method. Uh, just make sure that our sequence is correct, that we do sweep, deed, Oka and then AI AI. Uh, fumes. How so you, so you don't you so you don't want us to work Four. the you don't want us to work the AAA before the Oka gets there. Uh, you're 
you're right. Yeah, yeah, you're hitting you're hitting it with the deed, huh? Dark. Mm -hmm. New tasking. Orbit out to sea. You might have to orbit about ten minutes. Okay. Let us work let us work the target first. So you don't lose anyone on your on your Oka. Sounds good. I think the initial tasking Foxy wanted to set up was that we're all kinda of hitting it together all at once. Uh we're we're, yeah. we're kind of a, a huge package now, so we may just want to display it safe and let the Oka orbit out to sea like twenty miles and uh let us just work down all the uh the man pads and all the uh the sure ad. Yeah, they could even attack it from medium altitude. Yeah. Because we don't NOEs if you're trying to avoid defenses. There's no medium There's altitude. There's no need defenses. to go NOE for this yeah. flight. There's no SAMs. There's just triple A and, and man pads and shred. So hit it. You, hit you it mean Durandals from medium? Yeah, the, the, I think Dark you make sure to run Durandals. From medium yeah. altitude. No for, no from they're gonna they're the only one that's gonna do low altitude. Oh, okay. Alright. I misunderstood. Yeah, your everyone else should be should be no need to go anyway. And I think that's it. Any questions, flight leads? Okay, flight leads, switch up your channels. I'll flight one through five in, in briefing order. Uh, if anyone needs moved, uh, just go and ask. All right, listen up. Warbird needs to be moved. All right, listen up. Hey. Hey. All right, listen up. Oh, maths. Yeah, so, uh, are you. What happened to the load out here? Someone fucked. Hold on a second. All right, so, are, are any of you guys uncomfortable with? With these Mavericks? Sorry, what? Are any of you uncomfortable using Mavericks? I'm good. I'm decent. Good. Okay. They work just like the later Model 1s, right? Yes. Uh, the contrast is crappier and the range is crappier, but that's the main difference. Okay, so um, we'll start off by doing uh, Mark Some Threats. Reference uh, to the west of Steer 5. You'll see along the coast there is an SA-3 that's been suppressed. To the west of that, um, in the middle of the mountain range, there is an active SA-3. Put a SA threat ring on that, SA-3 threat ring on that. Uh, north of Steer 8, uh, on the island, put another SA-3 threat ring. And to the northwest of Steer 8, uh, there's another SA-3 there, put an SA-3 threat ring there. On the target, uh, put an SA-9 threat ring. Um, there should be no bandits scrambling out of the airbase. I believe they only had a couple MiGs active, and I, I believe the last one was shot down in the last mission, so I'm not expecting a scramble out of the airbase itself. If we have bandit vectors, it'll be coming from the west as we're ingressing, possibly F-4s out of, uh, out of the Suez area, or, um, at, at the target area itself, F-16s out of Ben Suez, which is, uh, west of Steer 6. Uh, north, north, northwest of Steer Six. Um, okay, those are the threats. We'll go over the uh, we'll go over the game plan. So um, when we get to steer, when we get to steer, we're gonna we're gonna go out at medium altitude. Note that our takeoff time is one minute after the Oka. Um, so we'll actually be the the last. I think we're the last flight, or almost right, the last flight up. to take off. Let's see. Uh, yes, we are the last flight to take off. Um, so we'll we'll get airborne as quickly as possible, and then I want to directly reference Steer Two and try to cut ahead of the package, so we can be with the we can be with the deed and help them work the AAA that's on the target. And uh, I might try to actually switch us with uh, the Oka in the in the takeoff order, but I'm going to try that in a second. 
I got need to talk to Fiber about that. Um, anyway, we'll get airborne. We'll push at medium altitude um, over to, to steer five. Uh, steer six. We'll begin to attack the target area. Um, we're gonna use the Mavericks um, to try to find where the guns are. The AAA, like so, like this is heavy tow AAA, and we're gonna drop the uh, CBUs on them. Uh, we'll do single passes with DTOS, um, medium altitude dive attack, or a CCRP delivery. Um, may or may not use Mavericks at this point to engage um, target of opportunity. Um, so uh, the main thing that I'm a little concerned about is the um, is sorting targets and and having enough time to do that. So I think I think what we're gonna do is um, let's see here. Yes, I think I think uh, the element and and uh, myself will be sorting different target groups and then we'll attack. Will attack as uh, elements. So um, I'm gonna call out the initial groupings, and then Nero, you're gonna attack your group, and then I'll attack my group, and you're gonna control number four, and I'm gonna control number two. Um, and then we'll be attacking from medium altitude. We'll be going, coming in from the north east, and coming off left, egressing east to steer six. So steer six will be our um, sort of IP for reattacks. I'm gonna actually put it over there now, I'm moving it a little bit. So steer six will be our uh, IP for reattacks. So uh, come in from the northeast, um, do your attack, come off left, and then return to steer six and go for a reattack. Um, yeah, don't don't uh, don't don't come off right. There's uh, in fact. I want to make a restricted airspace uh, north of Steer 8. Until that SA-3 is down, that it is restricted airspace north of Steer 8. All attacks should be happening from the northeast, coming off left to the southeast, and then flowing back northeast to the Steer 6. Um, yeah, priority will be the guns, like I said, towed guns, and then once they're suppressed or destroyed, we'll go for the, uh, we'll try to find the engineers and destroy them. Okay, um, so actually I, I have a pretty good idea on how we can do target separation. So um, go ahead and recon the the airbase itself. So do you, do you guys remember from last time? I don't know. Were any of you guys in the in the mission? The last mission? Yep. Yes. Do you remember if the tow AAA was on the airbase itself, or were they adjacent to the airbase? They were on the airbase. They were to the northwest corner, and there was something to the northeast corner, too. I don't remember what the northeast was. To the northwest corner and the northeast corner. Yeah, a matter of hundred, hundreds of yards from the runway. They were in there by, like, the fence line? They were something? in the fence line, yeah. And then that applies to the northeast corner as well? Yes, they were in the fence line. All right, perfect. Uh, that, that's, that's fucking perfect. So... Um, with there, that, sorry, there was something that was on the southwest corner on the other side of the runways, but I can't remember if it was AAA or the SMA. There, it's probably if, both. If I recall, that's where the mechanized battalions were. I don't know if there's tow AAA there, but um, what we'll do uh -huh. is is we're gonna call these groups out when we are ingressing. Um, right. On. So if you guys reference uh, the r target and you reference two three right, um, that's gonna be how we offset and deconflict. So. Um, Anything to the right of 2-3 right is going to be um, my element, and then anything to the left of 2-3 right is going to be the second element. Mm -hmm. You understand? Or do you copy that, Nero? Yeah, left of the thing, long one. Southern side. Yeah, but, and, but just yep. keep in mind the... Uh, yeah. So you're. Yeah. Exactly. You're. You're going to be on the south side. We'll be on the north side of that, and we'll prioritize those guns in the in the fence line. If they move for whatever reason, just try to find them and uh, kill them. 
we'll do you know method of attack and uh, weapon is an ordinance is at your discretion but I recommend using the CBUs and then uh, but if they're you know co-located with Shorads or whatever you can use Mavericks and try to suppress the Shorads but in, in any case that's how we're gonna that's how we're gonna deconflict and uh, there'll be a little bit of uh, stepping on each other on the comms um, so ideally the the two and the four should try to remain pretty quiet unless there's a, unless they're unable to get a contact on the Maverick or not a, or they don't have a visual tally or there's a problem or something like that and then it's mostly gonna be me and three calling what we're attacking and then you guys will just be getting target sorts uh, from the lead of the element. Would it be would it be acceptable to leave four at the at the IP or like in Overwatch position, engage, and then use the smoke to direct him or something like that? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, because I like Overwatch because there's there's so many shorts. Like I don't want him to, to to play trade with me on the on the run. You know what I mean? Yeah, that would be fine. Cool. The met like I said, the method of attack and all that stuff you can manage that. My my only direction that I'm requiring is restricted airspace north of Tier Eight. And medium altitude employment with a hard deck of like uh, 10,000 feet. Um, then at the end of that, once we've suppressed all the guns, we'll 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 deal with the engineers however we can. Either with Mavericks or guns or whatever bombs are left. Okay. Um, so we're considering gun runs. Well, if we've fucked up the, if the target is, just keep in mind, we're not the only ones attacking the target. There's going to be other flights that are dropping numerous bombs on the target. So if the target is pretty safe, then I'll make the decision to break the hard deck or not, depending on the situation. All right. What is the hard deck again? Ten thousand. Gotcha. Restricted airspace in effect north of Tier Eight. I want to just draw a steer point line there to show, hey, I can't cross this. Yeah. Yeah, I got a printout I'm doodling on. Bingo. Um, it's probably like 2,500. Um, yeah, it's probably more like 3,000 actually. 3,000. Yeah, we don't have a lot of fuel, but I'm not expecting us to be maneuvering that much or um. Really for us to get jumped, so should, I'm basically taking a calculated risk that we can do it with this amount of fuel. Worst case scenario, we abort over to Elot, which is uh, pretty close to the plot, so it's not that far. It's only like uh, I don't know, like 90 miles from where we'll be or so. All right. Um, any questions, concerns, lamentations? All right. Listen up. Uh, uh, Takian has briefed in the mission briefing. Okay. We should be two, I All think? Right, listen two, up. Are we two? Yeah. Okay, yep. so, um, two Victor, uh, I'm on 12 X-Ray, number two's on 75 X-Ray, number three's on 75 Yankee. Number four is on uh, 12 Yankee. A hey, uh, fiber. Yes. What are your thoughts on uh, swapping the takeoff order between me and you? Oh, uh, that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to set my takeoff time to 14.32, and you're going to set yours to 14.33, right? Okay, stand by, yep. No problem. Cool. Alright, that's set, set for me. Okay, set for us. Alright, thank you very much. No problem. Yep. I've switched the takeoff order with Fiber, so I'm going to take off ahead of them. Okay, I got Intruder 5, we have a new call sent called Revenge, Revenge 5. Right, right. <laughs>
and we're taking off 30 seconds after the training flight because we're really slow and we need to get there early. Our stud. All right, let's so the first one to take off, guys. Yeah, 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 we're gonna be we're gonna be like 30 seconds before the next, like the first flight takes off. Yeah. And yeah, the apron's we'll, gonna be crowded. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna rush. If you see an A4 on the on on the deck, just go around them. It's either our flight or the training flight. I believe in you. We're gonna like really rush to get out there, but you guys are gonna pass us on the way there because we're we're gonna be putting around like Mach point six or something. Oh really? Is that slow? Yeah, A4's, we're slow. A4's slow, pretty slow. Uh, Gus, can you verify one three four decimal two five zero for bit five? One three four two five zero. One three four two five. Right. Okay. okay. Hey, uh, just for your SA, Gus, um, we're gonna be attacking in ele by elements in Weasel 1, and the first element's gonna be working the north side of the runway, and the other element's gonna be working the south side. Okay. Yeah, we're doing single ship attacks with the other guy. It's just, we're just a two ship. Yep. And we're, we're looking for columns of engineers. Like next All right. to the. Alright, so the you, are gonna, you are gonna attack the engineers. So do you yeah, want yeah. So, so we're gonna, we're gonna cancel that mission and just focus on. No, 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 you guys, you guys would probably be in there first, and so just kill, kill the tubes, any tubes you see, okay. and, uh, if, there, if you have problems killing them, we'll, we'll, we'll change our targets to tubes, but, Kraus, uh, yeah. what's up? There's a decent amount of concentration of those fuckers on the southwest side of the uh, airfield, there's like a whole cluster of them. Just southwest? <laughs> yep. Someone said that in the briefing, but, we thought those, we thought those were, um, we thought those were, uh, fucking mech. Mech, 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 yeah. Mm -mm. Toad. Oh, just as a reminder, the airbase is equipped with MiG-21s. Yeah, they're a bunch of bitches, though. Well, we're equipped with, uh, A4s. <laughs> <laughs> they, can suck, they can suck it. <laughs> so, to the southwest, uh, do you know, do we know where they were? Were they by the fence line? Were they in the taxiway area? Right off the runway, like just about mm, 300, 200 yards. Okay. Off the runway. All right. So, uh, Roger. Yeah, that would be my priority. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, before we go in, do we have any questions at all from anyone? Uh, I think our tower. We're gonna use tower as uniform. One, three. Never seen that one. Three set. Three set. Four set. Breaks on. Run it up. Breaks off now. Full burn now. One, one. Never team Dollar, you're clear for takeoff. Runway zero two left. Flatter, one two. Never team Dollar, you're clear for takeoff. Runway zero two left. Right, do I element two behind you? Well, we're just talked about element two, you're still on tower. One three. Never team Dollar, resume all navigation. Weasel, 1-1. Never team Bell, resume all navigation. Weasel, 1-4. Never team Bell, resume all navigation. Okay, one's, one's out of the burn, I'm going Never 6 degrees nose up. Flatter, 1-2. Never team Bell, Weasel's right for steer 2. Flatter, 1-1. Never team Bell, Extra departure. 4. Alright, so I'm going to talk a little, while we're waiting, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, engagement methods here. 
Um, as you can see, there's a pretty low cloud deck. I would say the cloud deck is about 10,000 or so. Uh, what I recommend we do with for the bombs is we either find them, we, we find the target visually in most cases, or through the Maverick. Once we have it, um, once we have a tally or a contact respectively on the on the target, I recommend you guys use detoss mode. You dive at the target, you designate it, and then you pull back up to a medium altitude employment, and then you, you know, fly level after that. It's uh, it's unlikely that if you try to do CCIP, you're probably going to um, overbank the aircraft, and you might get into a situation where you're breaking the hard deck. So I'd recommend you get a little bit more of a slant range. You use DTOS to designate, and then once you have the target designated, you come off. Uh, let you come up to altitude, then employ more or less level like a CCRP employment. You guys able to keep the speed? Yeah, pretty good. Forest trail and back two miles trying to catch up. Right. Two's mostly good. I'm going to bring it down to 350 for the rejoin. Weasel, contact bandits, 018 for 142, 20,000 hot, uh, within uh, 25 miles of the package. Hey, uh, check left. Four. Uh, flow 140. Uh, type F-16. Yeah, these, Enemy you're, you're check right. These, clown, these clowns are not going to be able to find these bandits and they're going to kill us. Stand by. Yeah, that's a bandit. I'm committed. And the bitch cover. Weasel 1, commit. 
Weasel 1, commit 022-155-8000, uh, northbound, F-16. Three, clear our 10 o'clock. Yeah, Weasel 2, shit. Check it out. It's S-16, the two ships, S-16. Three, commit left. Weasel engaged, uh, defensive, 024. Chaff flare, chaff flare, altitude, altitude, chaff flare. Chaff flare, chaff flare, low. Behind you guys. Come left, come left. <laughs> Who come left? Three, three, bracket to the left. Three coming left. Four Weasel. Visual. Okay, Weasel one still uh still engaged. One contact bogey zero two three one seven one three thousand. Okay, Co weasel commit zero two three one seven one two thousand. Fox two on the bandit that I just called. Confirm Fox two on the bandit that I just called. Okay, weasels. Weasel's off to the south. That's probably me. Yeah, I lost him. I'm turning back southwest. I'm rocking my wings now. Four, out southwest. Four, I think I'm trailing you. Okay, uh, weasels flow on steer three. We just broke left. Yeah, that's three. Roger, I'm with you. Blind on anyone else. Rejoin at steer three, flow on steer three. A weasel one, I say again, rejoin on tier three, acknowledge. Weasel status. Two. Three. Weasel weasel one is uh flowing tier three. Uh we are three checking left. May have bandits to our uh to our northwest. Last bandit was at two th uh, two thousand. Cobra, Cobra, pull off. Cobra egress one three five. Four stay on my wing, sanitize twenty miles, it's down low. In a right turn. Three just turned right for steer three. Turn left. I think I'm trailing you. Three, rock your wings. Three, rocking. Okay, I'm to your right, uh, four o'clock, uh, now five o'clock, slightly three high, and uh, two, and uh, four is in trail of you. Come up, come up to altitude three. Yeah, coming up. Uh, weasels rejoining. Weasels rejoining us here three. Alright, 
block. Uh, one, one's uh, tied. So I want to get rid of these. I want to get rid of these bombs as quickly as possible, guys, to reduce drag. So let's try to do. Let's try to do one pass if we can, and just get all the bombs off. Buddy. Buddy. Uh, I'm joking. Cross money channel. I'm. I'm gonna face fuck you, Gus. <laughs> Drives me insane. I know, man. Like, at least give your fucking altitude. I, I gotta go back to my channel. This one of the fuckers. <laughs> Chew, are you are you good at the speed? Yeah, I'm good. I just uh, we just need to pick speed and hold it. I, I, I keep uh, keep flowing fast there. Keep in mind, I'm like cat. I'm cat one, and I have like I'm super light. So you guys have to tell me what's going on. Right, sorry. Yeah, three is full mill. Currently three one zero north, slowed it for the rating. So. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it down again. Well, let's just shoot. Let's just try to shoot for three two zero. Yeah, good, good eye there, uh, three with that fucking Fox Two call. I think that was probably on me. To be honest, I, I think I made it out last like one second. It was a, looked like a flare, so I'm not sure if it fired or not. I just saw like a blinking dot, and I'm coming out. Gotta save it, sorry. Yeah, well, you'll see in the ACMI. I did like a 9G brake turn and popped all my flares. <laughs> right. Avengers, uh, 89 miles. Uh, be advised, we have, uh, reduced weapons. We are Avenger. Uh, how, how reduced? Uh, we're at about 50% to 75%. Yep. And, uh, I'll have Revenge 5 to you know, take up everything else. Weasel copy. Package, be advised. Avenger 1 adds Cream Lures. Full by 158016 and just 1 of. Roger, Cobra's got him, Cobra's got him. Copper, cover engage Avenger assist. Roger, Cobra's. Alright, let's nose let's nose down a little bit to so pick up some speed, stay at mill power and uh let's go ahead and reference this tier six. Shoot for nineteen thousand. Okay. We're gonna have to come left to get around these cloud banks. Yeah. Alright, come come left to heading uh two zero zero. Come left more. Avenger one one rifle. Try to get. Yeah. Let's try to get. Let's try to get around these fucking clouds. Uh, reference two zero. Two go trail. Uh, actually, flight go trail. Okay, there's a there's a break in the clouds right here to my one o'clock. Uh, uh, right to my one o'clock here. There's a break in the clouds. Tally the base. Weasel, uh, weasel's IP inbound. Avenger, Avenger one, Good visuals here, guys. 
The very large column on the left side of the airbase by the fat runway. Okay, two and three say, say intentions. Two's in hot. Uh, target Altitude. Altitude. Southwestern most triple A. Yeah, Raj. There's juicy a three juicy juicy target on the right side. Buddy lock, buddy lock, side where the engineers are. I should have called them the city engineers. Yeah, run. Rifle. Uh, this is Cobra One Three of body fight. Run in there at CBUs. Uh, the right side. Yeah, on rifle. Yeah, you're you're in you're in command. You're in command. Two rifle times two on the uh, uh, western side. Three to four. Request directed. Four engaged. Call and look for guns. We got two guns left side of the AO. Next to the smoke. Triple A. Viper one cleared in. If you guys hook to the left and attack from there, perfect lineup for CBUs. Viper, Wilco. Rifle! Uh, weasel, multiple rifles on the Rifle! Target. Three rifles, two times, shift into the engineers. Two status. He's in hot, triple eight. CBU's dropped. CBU's dropped. Four is gonna orbit for a moment. CBU's away. Can't see anything. CBU's away. Altitude. Altitude. Viper one is IP inbound. Yeah, three. No effect on the CBUs. They were fucked. Aging engineers. Three Winchester. Four, four, continue. Uh, two is off. Uh, two CPUs away. I've got enough fuel for one more pass. Okay, two. Two, flow to steer six, and then attack the right side. Attack the right side of the fence line with, with CPUs. Two, two, did you copy my last? Yep, yeah, two, two, I got it. Two flanks, tier six. Four status. Uh, attacking the engineers from the, uh... But it's by west. Alright, if possible, eight, keep on the triple A's. Engineers are being engaged with the other flight. Gotcha, I'm looking, I'm trying to find them too. No, d just drop bombs, dude. We don't have fuel for this. Just drop bombs if you see something. Alright, just engage. Four. Okay, two's in hot. On the engineers. Uh, continue. Duck heading is two, two, three, zero. Visual. Four. CBU's dropped. CBU's away. Four. CBU's dropped. CBU's away. Sam. Sam to the north. You're good. Who's doing the corkscrew right now? Good hits forward, come off the sea. Uh, visual rejoining the new. Buddy, buddy, spy, Kevin, you're down. Jose, 2 4, 1 5 4, and just 2 0. BDA, good effect, north and south runways. Okay. Okay, two status. Uh, two flank to six. Uh, Angels nine. Uh, off the target. Ten four, hit the one more time. Yeah, four, continue. Roger. 
three. Do you have visual on me? Yeah, I'm right behind you. I'll go cover. Two, you're, you're Winchester? She's Winchester. Right. I'm in the left-hand left -hand orbit of tier six. Angels ten. Angels one nine. Uh, request uh, egress. Uh, low on gas. Yep. Go ahead. Somebody just got hit. Somebody Three's up. Four is up. Four, you're low. Get some altitude before running in. Four back. Uh, right. right hole. Oh, okay. Sorry. Altitude. Altitude. Are you clean? Weasel one, take over. Weasel one. Four, status. Uh, four, it didn't hit anything. Uh, what do you want me to do? Are you Winchester? Negative, I got two more CBUs. Save fuel. Stand by. Fuel zero, three, zero. Yeah, you can do one more pass, then we're out. Four. I'd, I'd prefer if you attack the guns that are on the southwest side of the base. CBU's away. CBU's away. CBU's away. I think that CBU's was that. away. Good hits. Got five on that pass. Alright, come, come off to sea. I'm right behind you, four. I see you. Uh, pass me up. I'll rejoin on you. Raj, three and four, we are out. Someone's hit over the airbase, they just ejected. Okay, reference your six, gentlemen. Top six. Two, say bullseye. Weasel, was that from your flight? Two, Weasel negative. Two, bullseye, zero, two, zero, for 150. Uh, Viper, one, three. 20,000. We have more bandits. Uh, zero, three, four, seven. Uh, this is Weasel One, Miller Time, Miller Time, Miller Time. Avenger One, Miller Time. Four, three, zero. Three, uh, contact Bandit three, four, eight for zero, three, six, eight thousand hot. Weasel One, two, declare. Revenge Five, Weasel One, two, Sentry One, contact confirmed hostile. Weasel One, contact Bandit three, four, nine for zero, three, six, six thousand hot. Cobra One, three, Tally. Three, Tally. Avenger One, Tally. Avenger Two, Tally. Avengers Four. Cobra, say intentions. Uh, we believe there's a helicopter, but we're headed towards them. Negative, not a helicopter. Fourth line, give me the bullseye that again. Uh, three five zero for zero three three. Check right for steer seven. Check right for steer seven. Uh, disregard, not what? Nine, reference tier nine, it's reference tier nine. Tier nine. Gotta find, we gotta try to find two. G give me your bullseye again, too. Your bullseye, uh, zero one seven for one thirteen. Uh, wait, no, no, sorry, uh, one thirteen for zero one seven. Give, give your posit reference uh, steer nine. Is there any SA three site on the island? Yes. 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 Roger. Three three miles from steer nine on the steer point line between uh, eight and nine. Angels 23. Good bogeys. NOE. Bullseye 071014. Investigating. Three knock it off, rejoin. Three. Okay, there was a heal. Yeah, that's 
all situation arise, I'm handing off control to somebody else momentarily. Okay. <laughs> That's gonna be good. That is ominous. Uh, new four pilot. Okay, hi. Uh, hello. This is definitely gonna be a YouTube clip. Is he taking a shit? Yeah, he's taking a shit. I'm just trying to fly in a straight line. Oh my god, this is amazing. <laughs> I say let him land. I mean, I could try, but I don't know how to put down the flaps. Dude, it's automatic, man. It's fine. It's automatic in the F-16. 2-1, I'm tied again. Is it alright if I just continue on this? Yes, just continue. I just wanted to make sure I knew where you were. Yeah, Roger, I saw you fly underneath me. No, I'm not underneath you. I'm still uh, I'm still behind you five miles. Right. Yeah, okay, visual, visual. What's your fuel at? Two. Say again? Zero, one, two, showing 700, it's tier 13. Okay. Warbird is back. Hey. Wait, did you did you take a shit? Uh, yes, it was a superpower. How did you? That was extremely fast. It hurt. Oh my god. I'm so happy I'm recording this. Okay, I'm on a long five mile final. Three gears down, one mile behind you, one. Ready to check for Revenge 5. Oh well. Hopefully they're not landing. Runway looks clear. Okay, for the guys who are doing ground attacks, make sure you check your uh, gear light. Make sure you've got three green. Do you visual now? Do the visual. Yeah, there were two other flights, of, two other three ships of uh, Vipers egressing. Oh, nasty crosswind. Be be careful. She's on an extended right base. on long final. One's exiting at Bravo. Three exiting. 
Oh, I see the A4 landing. He's on fire. Uh, do I need to wave off? No, you're good. No, you're good. Continue. Go around, I should say. He's right behind you. You're good, man. You just touched down, right, uh, two? If yeah, he's right behind you. You're, you're good. I'm going to watch him as he lands. Ooh, he looks like he's, his AOA is bad. Landing like flat. Is this a player? Yeah, it's Gus. It's floating. He's bounced. He bounced off the. He's gonna. He's gonna fucking. Hey, watch out! Watch out, guys. He's he's uncontrollable right now. Hey, hey, he lives. Oh, not for long. There he goes. Oh, he's gonna run off the fucking runway. Oh shit. God, he's coming right for me. Did he make it? Yeah, he made it. We uh, just followed orders and uh, held. Um, we were looking for those bandits. We saw them on the scope, and just we're we're far back enough, uh, about 20 miles, so we just played it safe. Um, when you called us in, we we're uh, en route. Uh, we were going to do a final orbit at our steer six, which is just before our IP, but uh, you cleared us in for the attack, so we stripped. Element 1 uh, went NOE, Element 2 descended to Angels 15. The plan was that we would have about 45 seconds of separation so that the Oka could get in, hit everything, and then the uh, other flight would do a high altitude dive bomb uh, from 15,000 and uh, try and release at 8,000. Um, I think the second element got a little ahead of us and uh, they called off their attack, which was good because they were ahead of us while we were on our Oka strike. Um, the Oka strike went off without a hitch. I don't know if we got fired at, um, but I'm surprised that we lived. Um, Element 2 had to go around for another attack, and I think that they had gotten low on the missed attack, and number 3 um, got a little too low on the second re-attack. It seemed like he was able to hit his targets, but uh, he got man-padded. Uh, number 4 uh, was able to hit his targets and was lucky, and uh, yeah, we rejoined an RTB. All right, uh, Riesel. So, let's see here. So, let me just pull up base here. Easier for jogging my memory. So I guess the main thing is we, we got airborne. We, we had switched uh, places with, um, we switched places with the Oka so that we would take off second to last rather than last. Uh, we got airborne, we got the medium altitude fenced in right after we got um, airborne and, and saddled. Um, as I was, as I was, uh, as we had begun the Rolex, I see uh, on my scope some aircraft that had a pretty hostile aspect and were basically nosing into the rest of the package. So I called them out. Uh, they were within like 30 miles, very, very close, and we just immediately committed on them. Um, when we, so there was a three ship is what we sorted it as, I think. Um, and I was sorted on the lead and the, the rest of the flight was sorted on the other two uh, bandits that were there to my 10 o'clock. Uh, number three saw what he thought was a missile launch. So I did a 9G brake turn, popped a bunch of flares, came off dry on my target and, uh, emergency jettisoned. Um, so I had over G'd quite a lot, quite a lot. Um, the, then number three and four cleaned up the bandits that were there, killed them. And we continued, uh, after we rejoined, we did another Rolex. Uh, I think we were six minutes behind then and, uh, continued at medium altitude. At this point, I don't have any weapons and number three thinks he may have over G'd his jet at this point. Uh, we continued, um, flight starts fighting F4s and stuff. Uh, we get to the target area. 
and um, do repeated attacks on the engineers and the uh, columns to the north, uh, disregard to the south and southwest of the uh, target. Uh, I can believe we completely destroyed the engineer battalion, although the ACMI will know for sure. And uh, I basically was just uh, anchored off the coast and uh, controlling the attacks because at that point I had no weapons, so there's nothing for me to do other than just control the attacks and observe. Um, never saw the manpad launch at uh, in, at uh, Revenge there, so that that sucks. Uh, I was looking over there, but I, I just never saw it come. It's probably a SA-14 or something, some other cold launch, Sam. Um, we were on we were on station number two went bingo, so he RTB'd about three minutes before us. Um, number three and four continued their attacks. We confirmed that three bombs were in were in fact uh, in op from the over G. But his Mavericks worked, so he got his Mavericks off, got killed with those. Uh, we, we were at the end of Vol, RTB'd, and we decided to abort to the to Elot uh, based on low fuel. Um, I do want to address two things, uh, which is the, the, the tactical method by which we attacked, the very like, low-level stuff and, and uh, specific for switchology. This is a perfect condition to use DTOS. So uh, I, I heard like multiple people say they use CCIP and they, they broke the hard deck and got hit or whatever. Um, this is perfect for DTOS because what DTOS lets you do is you can point your nose at the target like you would do a CCIP attack, but you designate it and then you come up to medium altitude and you employ like a CCRP delivery if you wanted to. You could also loft doing that as well, but uh, you could do like a lofting dive bomb attack, but at the least uh, you could, in, you know, designate and then go up to medium altitude and release um, with a nice flat trajectory with no risk of uh, breaking the hard deck. So um, that's what I suggested. That's what I suggest we do for a target like this. It also helps if, like on this target, there's a bunch of clouds. We couldn't see the target due to the clouds. So we just went below the clouds, um, designate with um, DTOS, and then come, come up to an attack altitude and release. Yeah, I'd like to add into that as uh, DTOS definitely because I wanted to originally do CCIP and Gus talked me out of it, thank God. And uh, I designate. <laughs> I was it. even yeah. <laughs> I got hit. Yeah. I was pitching up. I was like I designate and I'd be getting uh, or I was getting real close to the target release point, you know, the drop point there. But I was like five seventy degrees nose up, but I was on ladder or I'm sorry on the on the fall line, you know, pickled correctly, and the the shit went off my rails and hit the target. So DTOS is the shit. Yeah, it's also. It's really, really good if also if you see a target, but you know that you're going to break the hard deck, you just nose down, roll over, designate, and then you, you hold down the pickle button and you, pu and you pull up into the fall line. It's going to loft the bomb off your uh, pylon as well. Just post a video that you made. Yeah. So yeah, I'll post a video, but um, I don't want to harp on this for too much. It's just mostly, I know it's a neglected bombing mode and, and people don't use it that much, but it is extremely powerful for use for situations like this. Um, another thing is, I want to give props to uh, number three for uh, basically finding and killing those bandits, um, and uh, yeah, and just being a good, uh, good element leader. So uh, thanks for that, Nero. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm done. Oh, already. Uh, buddy, buddy, over. buddy. Oh yeah, for the for fuck's sake, <laughs> please do not say buddy, buddy, buddy on the guard channel. Like it's useless information. It you. If you can't give your bullseye because you're too engaged or whatever, at least give a altitude. If you if you also still can't give your bullseye, but you can give your altitude and you know where you are, reference to a steer point, just give that. But don't say buddy, buddy, buddy on the, on the fucking guard channel, please. I beg you, it's useless. Uh, okay, that's my rant, and uh, rant complete. Okay, Cobra. Right, so Cobra took off. Uh, immediately after takeoff, we climbed up to our cruise altitude and started trying, attempting to push out in front of the uh, front of the um, package. Right as we were getting in position uh, ahead of the package, uh, uh, guys in the rear called out that there was a F-16 flight coming in, like in our way behind us in deep flank. Uh, it took me a second to figure out where. Oh, we lost him. Alright, anyway, uh, moving on. Avenger. <laughs> you got buddy, buddy, buddy jammed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting no packets from him. He's, he's out. Yeah, so for Avenger, we took off a second after the intruders. 
uh, we just follow the flight plan and then uh, I think it was you guys you asked for people to do a 360 and wait for the the cab to engage bandits so we were at that moment on your three o'clock same altitude we do a couple of 360 then we proceed um, we were on the front of the package at that moment we saw on the radar some enemies which we PID as MiG-17 it was in fact G6 uh, I think J6 yes, is sorry. the Chinese version of the MiG-17 anyway uh, we shoot down three of those guys and then we keep uh, we, we flew to the target area we proceed as we were closing in we saw on the radar some enemy doing cap uh, just close to the airfield above the SA3 on the island uh, we tried to support the cap to engage those guys but at that exact moment some A4 just bounce uh, on everybody and uh, I saw A4 on the other BWR I switched to the uh, dogfight mode. I locked one, but it was already engaged by the by the sweep, which was great. I then saw a dogfight uh, on the deck, very very low with the with the Cobra F16 and the F4. Uh, we cancel the attack on the SA3 and proceed to engage the SA9s on the airbase. We managed to destroy five uh, SA9s with six Maverick, which is not bad. And then we just did cap over the over the airbase. And then it was middle time, so we just returned to base and do the override break in front of Viper. And all right. that's all. Uh, Intruder 5, uh, everything was going well. Uh, package leading, uh, we got jumped halfway to the target. Uh, which kind of sucked because everything was out of position. We had the escorts up front, and uh, we had our like our, our Oka and slow stuff in the and the heavy stuff in the back, and they just happened to jump our guys in the back. So we had a had to quickly just you know everyone in the package just stop here, orbit here, um, escort, move to assist, uh, Kraus engaging those bandits in the back, and luckily Dark Fiber uh, your Oka wasn't hit because if you lost the Oka, it would have been a pretty bad mission. Um, but then the uh, we ended up surviving. We ended up uh, killing them. We pushed on. Uh, we fought a few times on the way to the target, but uh, eventually we pushed through. We called everyone uh, to just to start up their attack. I think we, we coordinated it well. Uh, the seed hit first, uh, killed a bunch of SA9s. The uh, Kraus moved in, started hitting a bunch of tubes. I, I moved in, hit hit the engineers as well as the tubes. And. Um, and just after that, we were killing the targets. Dark rolled in with his flight and bombed the hell out of the runway. So it looked really, everything was going really well. Um, I, uh, <laughs> I told, I told Fluke, Fluke he wanted to do some CCIP stuff. And I told him, no, let's play it safe and just do detox. Well, I had the idea that uh, I was going to ignore my own advice and, and just do like a, a big, I call it like a retard CCIP dive because you just kind of, Instead of you know going up to like twenty five thousand feet and doing high altitude, I just went I just went down like eight thousand feet into the CCIP, which is pretty much exactly opposite of what you want to do. And uh, yeah, I paid for it. So uh, don't ignore your own advice, <laughs> and uh, don't do big dumb CCIP attacks on heavily shore at defended targets. Uh, make sure you just do detoss and stay stay far back and stay above fifteen thousand feet when you do your detoss, and and you'll be safe. Now, or just abort. Yeah, yeah. So I just got greedy. I'm in an A4. You know, I've got I got like 20 bombs. <laughs> Dude, the lure was so strong. <laughs> the, on yeah, that it's column. Just, you, you're you're oh, in a really nimble Jesus. like fighter with 20 you know 20 bombs. You're you're, you're it's feels good and it's really tempting to just to just to drop 20 bombs on a big column. And uh, well, I, I took a man pad, but I made it out and paid for it or made it out uh, just barely and uh, headed home and, and we landed on an alternate. And good job, Fluky. Perfect wingman. Yeah, that was good. And killed a bunch of engineers, killed a bunch of tubes, killed a bunch of everything really. So only went through about a third of, of my, my payload, so did Fluky, so if we would have had another ten minutes we probably would have mopped up every last thing on that on that airbase. Yeah, we would have destroyed that. Anyway, uh I definitely want to bring more A fours to the next missions. Because the A fours are they're a lot of fun. Uh alright guys, um I I think we missed fumes. On Cobra One, you, you cut off like halfway into that sentence. Uh, well, what at all did I say? Because my internet cut out. You got to, we started engaging the F-16s way behind us, flanking. 
Oh yeah, so the F-16s were flanking. Uh, it took me a second to figure out where they were. Uh, so like had a bit of a brain fart. It was like reading my compass backwards, but uh, rest of my flight managed to find them. Um, and then I came in right behind them. We we engaged them, destroyed a couple of the F-16s. Then we turned back around. Uh, there was a bit of a regrouping issue just because of the post-merge exits where we weren't sure what was dead and what wasn't. So I just had everybody turn towards steer steer point nine. And we regrouped uh, sort of in a trail. So two found me, and three and four found each other. And they were behind us by, say, like 10, 10 20 miles. miles or so. Yeah, somewhere in that department. So then we uh, we kept pushing in. We ran into um, a MiG-21 flight, which we engaged BBR. Um, one of them was destroyed. The other one uh, disappeared off our scopes. We weren't able to reacquire. And then shortly after that, we ran into an F-4 Phantom flight. Uh, Poison and I re-engaged that flight. A BVR again. Um, they defeated the missiles in BVR, so I popped low. Uh, came up underneath him and shot one with an AIM-9. And then dove for the deck. At this point, everything was pretty tumbleweed. We really didn't know where the other F-4 went. And 3 and 4, I gave permission to engage a different group. Because they had another set of bandits that they were tracking. Um, then there was a pretty interesting uh, turning thing that occurred down on the deck where there was me and another F-16 um, and what I thought was another F-16 and something that was smoking, which turned out to be the Phantom, um, which we eventually, I eventually acquired that and killed it. Um, at this point, everything was pretty much d done engagement-wise, but uh, everybody was all over the place, so we... I had everybody come off to the west, or sorry, the east, and uh, attempt to regroup, which we did. We were having difficulty with uh, Three's comms. Um, that wasn't his fault. It was some kind of technical issue. But uh, we thought he was dead for a while. Um, so we regrouped over here. Um, then I heard I heard something about somebody going down over the airbase. So we turned towards the airbase and were inspecting that kind of closely, wondering if something had scrambled or whatnot, but we didn't find anything. And then at that point, we uh, decided to RTB. Uh, package called out another set of bandits, but uh, we never saw them. And uh, we went to the dirt, for, dirt field and landed. All right, cool. So that's all the quick reviews. Um, great job, everyone. Full mission success. Killed the engineers. We killed a lot of uh, AAA. We killed the airbase. So hopefully it won't come back up uh, like it did before. Uh, great job, everyone. We took, I believe, one loss and a few damage. So, and also we had a pretty good turnout today. Uh, we had 17 or 18. All right, see you across. Uh, so if anyone has uh, Acme, uh, we're going to do some online debriefs and just kind of take a look at uh, some of the engagements and, and what happened. Yeah, I'm on it. All right, all right, let's do this. Um, anyone else still connecting? I mean, come Oh, wait. Do, do we have an IP? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll repost it. I did not see it. Uh, could someone also share the Google Drive link since I don't have the fancy version?